today I'm looking at this home light uh, chainsaw. I guess it's a model 23 AV with a power stroke engine for what that's worth. Uh, this is an older unit that was given to me. Um, I've had it hanging around for a while and I finally went to use it today and uh, tried starting it and the first thing that happened was that the, the pull start rope broke. It looks like I'll need to remove this side cover to get access at the pull start mechanism and there's a handful of screws here. I don't know if these are all of them or not, but there's one here, one here, one here, and one here. I'm not sure if the top will need to come off or not, but I'll start with just the side panel and see what happens. As you just saw, <clears throat> I also loosened the top cover, and there's just three screws on this. Let's see if I can get this in view. There's one here, one here, and one in the front somewhere right here. And this should just pop off, and you can see the sides already falling off. The nice thing about these on the cover is these are, they seem like they're captive, or at least partially captive, so they won't fall out. The other ones I just set aside. Uh, and now the side cover just comes off. And it looks like the side cover contains the pull start mechanism. So we'll take a look at that now. I've cleaned a little bit of the crud out of the way here, but I'm, uh, I'm just checking the rest of the rope here without taking anything apart. And the rest of the rope looks, I mean, you can tell it's aged, but it doesn't look like it's in uh, too bad a shape. I don't have any pull cord uh, this thin on hand, so I may just try and reuse this. Looks like it's simple enough to take apart, so if this does snap again, I can replace the entire thing. So I guess what I'll just do today is now rewind this. So I'm going to get rid of this frayed end. Just cut that off and throw it away. And then fish the cut end up through where the handle goes. Then fish the string through the handle and then tie a knot in the end of it. And that ought to hold it. I probably could have tied that knot a little closer, but I'll just cut the excess. Okay, now with the with the string tied up and in place like this, then the next step is to wind this backwards. You can see there's an arrow on here that indicates this is the direction of travel, but what I'm going to actually do is wind it backwards. You can kind of hear the thing click. There's a little bit of a ratcheting action going on there to keep it from springing back. And that is all you have to do to wind that back up and get it tight. So once that's wound up like that, it now more or less functions as intended. I may have to wind it one more notch here. There. Okay, so that's pretty good. Once that's complete, then I can put this plastic shroud back in like this and of course that just sits in there there's no clip or anything really and then the whole arrangement will go back onto the saw like that and in the case of this saw there are two short screws for the case that go on the top and then there's two longer ones that go in the bottom two holes Next, I'll replace the top cover. Now that the saw is all back together, 
can see that the pull cord is now functioning the way that it's supposed to. That takes care of the repair of the pull cord on this home light chainsaw. Next I'll put some fuel in it and see if it'll start. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.